what I do is I analyse animal imagery from mainly ancient Egypt, trying to understand what species are depicted, the behaviour in particular of the animals, what, what sort of behaviours they're shown displaying in the art. That all changed in 2014, where I just happened to discover a paper called The Hidden Paintings of Angkor Wat, which was published in the journal Antiquity, and it was by a then graduate student, Noel Tan, at ANU. The after photograph was like magic. Suddenly you could see all this incredible detail. And so I immediately thought there would be an opportunity here to use this technology on Egyptian wall paintings, many of which are well preserved, but many are also just as faded as the ones at Angkor Wat. D-stretch actually refers to something called colour decorrelation stretching. And that's an image processing technique in which the intensity and saturation of the colours in a digital image are manipulated. When we ran that image through D-stretch, we discovered what the draftsman who had actually originally traced that image had completely missed was that underneath the boar was a little tiny piglet. So we were able to actually trace that little piglet and insert it into the scene, which meant that the published record from this tomb now is much more accurate. When we ran that image through D-Stretch, the first thing we discovered was it's not a hawk, it's most definitely a vulture. We could actually see extra details around the neck region and the beak that told us very clearly that it was a vulture. And then looking more closely at the egg, because that would have been extremely unusual if it was an egg, D-Stretch gave us some extra details that showed that it wasn't just a sort of a spherical object. There are actually some lines jutting out from the bottom of it. So D-stretch, for all of its great advantages, um, can perhaps potentially sometimes send you down the rabbit hole in the wrong direction. But I still think it's the most amazing piece of technology and I'll keep on using it. <laughs>